This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. The newly married Josh Taylor is with me. Uh, yeah, congratulations, mate. How was it all? Yeah, good. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you very much. We had a we had a great weekend, you know. So all the family, you know, get together, friends and family for the full weekend. It was yeah, it was good. It was good. What's your uh, documentary on BBC? That was a good watch for anyone who hasn't go and watch it. Yeah, how was that filming? That um, saw a lot of things that. I think people didn't realise was going on before the capital fight. We'll come on to that in a second. But yeah, uh, that documentary go down well. Yeah, I think it went down well. You know, I'm quite happy with the way um, it turned out. You know, when I saw it. So yeah, I think it was a good insight to to sort of what life goes, well, like what life's like and what goes into boxing. But it was also evident to see the problems that I had in the camp and everything there as well. And. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, Josh, not to take anything away from Jack's performance because he was brilliant on the night, but can you now reveal some of the issues that were going on before that fight? I'm guessing camp wasn't smooth for that fight. Well, the camp wasn't great, no, but it's no excuse. At the end of the day, I was shite, you know. It, um, career worst performance, you know, and Karatero had a good performance, you know. I still feel, you know, and I'm still getting shit, but I still feel like I did enough to win the fight, you know. But having said that, there was a lot of rounds in there that could have went his way and things like that. So if I'd went to him, I obviously I'd have been gutted and, you know, losing my titles and stuff. But I genuinely feel that I did enough to win the fight. So, yeah, but just going ahead and that, I was just fucking shit. You know, I was just, I was crap, you know. Uh, a couple of injuries in camp and that as well came in too heavy, a bit unmotivated in that as well, you know, it's just uh, aye, a bit a bit of everything, you know, just th which led to the crap performance. I was asking you during fight week, are you still comfortable making 140? Now I saw the, the clip on you, I think, just before the weigh-in, um, where you had to get in a sweatsuit and lose a lot of pounds. I'm guessing it wasn't a comfortable wasn't really practice much, making 140. Wasn't really that much weight, I had to lose really any in the way, it was just the way I do it, but that one was extreme, <coughs> um, and plus I come into camp the heaviest I've ever been. It's almost 13 stone. I said I was only what I think you said. You see me on the, the camera saying I'm only just under 12 stone. I was I was closer to 13 stone um, coming into that camp there, you know. And then you know just the sort of lack of motivation and stuff as well I had as well. So it just all, it just all led to a, a bad performance. But you know there's there's no excuses that I was shy at the end of the day. But I still got the result, and you know that's uh, that's it. So talk me through your decision about vacating some of your belts, Josh. Why have you done that? Well, the first one was uh, Alberto Pulo, um, which wasn't a great fight. You know, I think, I think I've earned my stripes now would be in big fights and, and big entertaining fights and lucrative fights you know, in my career now. Alberto Pulo, I don't really know who he is. Um, you know, I've seen him a couple of times. He is quite good and quite handy, but I want to be in fights that gives me the motivation and the drive, you know, because if I've not got the motivation and the drive, you can see what happened there, you know, it just, I didn't do it right. But, um, yeah, so they want me to do that, so I decided just to, to let that one go. Um, and then the WBC one was, was against Cepeda. They were wanting me to fight, sort of, next month, um, which I wouldn't have been ready for. I put, I put my appeal into the WBC to give me a little bit more time um, after getting married and going away and things like that, so... Um, yeah, they wouldn't do it, so I just says, you know what, the fight I really want is, if I'm staying at 140, is the cattle fight, um, which is the reason why I'm staying at the weight, is to, to get that fight. Now, uh, these two mandatories are out of the way, it's cleared the path, so it's on his side. Um, Have you had any response from his team yet? I not had any response yet, so I've did, I've did, I've did all I can do, um, so we're just waiting, but at the same time, I'm not going to wait around, I'm in the... the good part of my career where I want to be involved in big fights so I'm not going to pause my career and put my career on hold to wait on him but 100% I want to fight that fight again revisit it um, to just to put it out to bed and shut everybody up you know so um, yeah that's what I want to do you know revisit that bad night for myself put it right if it's not next which is what I really want um, I'll, get, I'll do it at some point down the line but it won't be at 140 though if it's down the line though yeah. You said it's to shut everyone up, but is it more to show yourself as well that you can be better than that and well, know, win better against well, Catrell than listen, that? I know I'm 100% better than that. And I believe um, me at my best and on peak performance, it, it doesn't live with me, I don't think. So um, we'll, just, well, we'll just need to wait and see. You know, the, the, the first fight was shit. You know, the, the two of us were shit, to be honest. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, this is the one I want to do next. One for myself and one to shut everyone else up as well. Making 140 again, is that realistic, Josh? 
I can do it. Yeah, I can do it because this time I haven't put the weight on. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not been sitting around and just you know going out and enjoying my life. You know, um, I just had a career best performance, something that no one's ever done in the UK, become an undisputed world champion. You know, and so I went out and enjoyed myself a little bit. You know, um, ate too much pizzas and Chinese food and steaks and things like that, and uh, not training. You know, and the, and the weight put on. And it was hard to get back off. You know, I've not done that this time. I've stayed in the gym. I've stayed active, and like what I usually always do. So, yeah, that's. Uh, I think I can make the weight, no problem. Should that rematch not happen, is it jumping up to 147 then? Yeah, that's what it'll be. You know, because let's not be. Uh, let's be honest. That my my days at 140 are probably numbered, and you know, I've I've won everything I can I can at 140. So to keep the motivation and the drive. I want to move up to welterweight and chase more titles and chase chase more titles, yeah, to be, become a two-weight world champion. It gives me that butterfly and the drive to keep training and keep going, keep living away from home and away from my friends and family, you know. So that's what I want to do. I want to become a two-weight world champion, but right now I want to fight Carol again, you know. But if it doesn't happen now, I won't be waiting around. I'll be moving up to 140 and then I'll revisit again further on later on in my career. But for sure I want to fight him again. Last thing, I know Conor Ben isn't someone that's going to be on your radar, but his promoter Eddie Hearn has said that if you do come up to 147, that is a fight that he'd look to try and make. He's becoming commercially a bigger name as well, Conor Ben. Would you entertain that? Yeah, of course. You know, you never say never. You know, it's a, he's a good fighter, Conor. I know Conor. I've got a lot of time for him. I, I like him pretty good. Well, I'd like to know. I'd like to think we're pretty good friends with him. You know, so he's a, yeah, he's sound. You know, so you know, I think that would be a great fight as well. His style's all action. You know, you never say never. Final message to Jack Cattrall? Fuck all. Just get your finger out of your arse, mate, and hopefully we can get the fight on. Josh, thank you very much for your time on IFL TV, and congratulations once again uh, with your marriage with Danielle, and I hope you speak soon, all right? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.